Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Today we're taking a look at something that I've been testing for about approximately three months. Yeah, so not weeks, months. This is something that I've been using at one of my two full-time jobs on a nightly basis. And at first, I was really impressed with it. I really was. But an issue popped up. First, let's give you guys a look at it. This is the 3D cell defiant flashlight sold at Home Depot. Now, based on the limitations of my recording equipment, I can't really get the entire flashlight in the shot. Although, as you can see, I can get most of it. I was going to do this at a different angle, but decided not to. And I'll show you guys why later on in the video. But yeah, length, we're talking right about 10 and 3 fourths inches. And yes, there will be a few specs in the description box below, as usual, just not too many and once again, you guys will see why soon enough in this video. So, the 3D cell defiant flashlight. First of all, it actually comes with batteries. That's right, batteries are included. This is what you get. Defiant is a Home Depot brand, and you get three of these HDX alkaline D-cell batteries, also Home Depot brand. I will admit that in my testing, these less expensive compared to the competition Home Depot branded D cells, they work very well, very well. I could not see a difference in terms of performance when I eventually had to swap out the batteries. I mean, if we're talking fresh batteries, yeah, and these did last a good long time. I'd say on average about what you would expect from those other brands. The regular Energizer alkaline batteries, Duracell alkalines, Rayovac alkalines, yeah, all the major players very well. It did very, very well. And they're usually lower priced than those other batteries. So yeah, the flashlight, metal construction, that's what you're seeing here, uh, almost all metal construction, 3D cell, not really rated for rechargeables, so that is one tiny issue. But this is an old-fashioned, heavy, 3D cell, aluminum flashlight. And you know what you're getting. If this is something you want, well, there you go. Now, it is LED, and that LED pumps out a claimed 500 lumens. Obviously, those lumens are not out the front. They're at the emitter like most brands. So you're getting less than 500, but still, the output is impressive, especially for the price. 
when I picked this bad boy up, it was $19 plus tax. And as I recall, that was not the sale price. That was the regular price, $19 plus tax for a big, heavy, aluminum LED claimed 500 lumens flashlight with batteries included. Three of these bad boys for this 3D cell flashlight. Wow, how could you go wrong? Well, keep in mind something, guys. You got to keep in mind something that a lot of people overlook, that a lot of people just don't realize. For some bizarre reason, when it comes to flashlights, the average person and even some enthusiasts are guilty of this as well, they just assume that if a flashlight is very bright and cheap, that somehow quality is included for free. No, it's not. Bright and cheap, literally any flashlight brand can pull off bright and cheap nowadays. Quality, that's a different story. Um, Maybe some of you will be offended by this analogy, but I mean, let's say you're looking for a relationship with a woman. I mean, well, there's a handful of them standing on that street corner over there. You want any of them? Well, they're gorgeous. Oh, they are definitely good looking. They are gorgeous and they're cheap. Are they quality? Nope. Do you expect them to be quality women whom you can marry? Women who will be there for you? as partners, raising children, you make her life easier, she makes your life easier. Do you expect those women, those beautiful and cheap women standing on that street corner, do you expect them to be quality? No. No, you don't. And sometimes you're not looking for quality. But yeah, When it comes to bright and cheap, with flashlights, you don't get quality tossed in for free. And yet so many people, so many people genuinely believe that quality gets tossed in for free. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But this does look like an excellent bargain. Now, the last time I checked... The price went up a little bit. It was maybe $22 or $23 and change. Still, sounds like an excellent bargain for under $25. Well, plus tax, of course. And as I said, there is the minor issue that you really can't use rechargeables with this thing, but you know what you're getting from the beginning. So that's a very minor issue. There is also a secondary minor issue. It has to do with the tail cap design. And this thing wants to roll. Okay. Here's the second issue. With the tail cap Design, this flashlight is known as a battery crusher. Now, it doesn't actually crush the batteries inside until they leak that horrible alkaline chemistry all over. It's just an expression 
in the flashaholic community. A battery crusher is where you screw down the tail cap and you have to be careful because if you make it too tight, it will start to crush the battery just a tiny bit. And here's one battery that originally came with it. This was in the middle of the three. Here's the one that was over by the tail cap. Now, I'm not sure if you can see the difference. Uh, I don't think my camera is picking it up too well. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Let me just try to hold these straight. And yeah, I think you can see it there. The one on the left that was in the middle, notice how the nipple on the battery sticks up taller than the nipple on the one that was over by the tail cap? Yeah, yeah. And this has been indented. It's a little hard to see on my camera, but it has. Again, minor issue, but I wanted you guys to be aware of it. So, how's the output and the beam quality? Well, obviously, my camera will adjust for output, but here it is in three, two, one. Yeah. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one. Yeah. As you can see, even with my camera adjusting for the massive output, it is still impressive. As for the beam quality, I love it. The beam quality, wow. It is, I mean, what can I say? You get an extremely bright hotspot. A bit narrow, extremely bright, but you also get a large amount of usable side spill. Make no mistake, this flashlight is a thrower. It reaches out, especially with that very bright central hot spot. It reaches out. But side spill? Side spill is very impressive. You do get an excellent amount of side spill as well. But this is mostly a thrower with a well-concentrated hot spot. So let me just show you the business end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. Sorry about that, guys. There it is. I'm not quite sure which type of LED that is, but it's impressive. You do get some crenellations here. And here's the body. Now, this checkering is almost exclusively for show. Yes, there's a little bit of grip that you can get from it, but it's very shallow, very, very shallow. Further up, you have the tail cap. Let's get a good look at that. And yeah, there's crenellations at the tail cap, and there it is. Now, this might seem a bit weird. This is, after all, an almost 11 inch long flashlight and it is very heavy but why does it have a tail cap switch and that is a reverse clicky tail cap switch not a forward clicky reverse clicky so you don't get momentary on but it works well it really does it works well now, you're probably wondering why there isn't one further down 
just above the bezel. Well, mm, then it would look a little too much like a maglite, and we all know what the um, owner of maglite likes to do when he sees a flashlight from another company that even remotely looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is your anti-lawsuit Home Depot reverse clicky tail cap switch. It's rubberized. It works well. Yes, if you're strong enough, you can hold the flashlight in the back and activate it with your thumb. If not, well, carry it around in one hand, and as you bring it up, use the thumb of the other hand to click it on. One mode only, 500 lumens. That's right, one mode only. It's a one-trick pony. So, at this point in time, you're probably expecting me to recommend it because, well, this is obviously the exception to bright and cheap and expecting quality being tossed in for free. We're getting quality. Um, yeah, almost. Almost. How can I describe the main issue? Okay. Um, let's say that you're an average man or woman, and one day you meet an extremely handsome individual that you would love to date. And somehow you muster up the courage to walk up to them, talk with them a little bit, and you're getting signs that they might be interested in you. And it's like, hold on, I'm an average individual. And this person, in terms of looks, in terms of body, wow, easily 10 out of 10. Ah, there's no way this person will date me. But you figure, you know what? I got nothing to lose. Let me take my shot. Hey, would you like to go out? Yes? Really? I mean, uh, yeah, I'll pick you up. And you go out with them. You get to know them. And they have a wonderful personality. And again, fantastic body. Ooh, smoking body. Male, female, whichever one you prefer. Great personality smoking body, gorgeous face, and they treat you well. It's like, wow, uh, wait a minute. This person is a 10 out of 10. I'm an average individual. How is this person not married and doesn't have a boyfriend or girlfriend? Like, something's not right. And yeah, there's something that's not right with this flashlight. And let's say you take this wonderful 10 out of 10 to a restaurant and they order a couple of drinks, then they order a couple more, then they order a few more. And all of a sudden you realize, oh, that's why they're still single. Because when they're sober, they're great. When they're drunk, they're mean maybe even violent. And when they do sober up, you try to talk to them about their drinking problem, and they get horribly defensive and angry. You can talk to them about any other subject except that one. Yeah. How long are you going to keep dating them? Well, after I make this review, uh, yeah. Don't expect this flashlight to remain long in my collection. Because for those of you who've, who've noticed, I've been covering up a good portion of the tail cap section. Here's why. You see that little thing hanging down there? Yeah, that's what's left of the O-ring after literally two battery changes. And even after one battery change, it looked bad. Let me show you guys. Yeah, that's not the only bit that's hanging off. Yeah, These threads 
on the inside of the tail cap and here. They will shred the O-ring. Absolutely shred it. Look at this. I'm not even pulling on it. This, let me actually take it off and I'll show you just how really bad it is. Guys, look at this thing. Look at it. it it's shredded. I actually had a couple of pieces of the O-ring literally fall off. One that happened earlier and one piece actually fell off, not dangling as you can see, but fell off. Just as I grabbed this flashlight to start this review. And I mean, yeah, like I said, you don't get quality tossed in for free. There's always a catch. Look at this. All the way around. I, I mean, this is just horrible. Now, a lot of you'll say, hey, no problem. Just replace the O-ring. Okay. Like I said, this thing started getting badly shredded after one battery change. After one. This has had two battery changes, and this is what the O-ring looks like. Trust me, guys, in real life, it actually looks worse than what my camera is showing. This flashlight shreds O-rings. What are you going to do? Keep replacing O-rings? And where are you going to use a 500 lumen flashlight with throw? Obviously not indoors. You're going to use it outdoors. And there are going to be times when you're outdoors and it's going to rain. I mean, this is not something I can honestly recommend. This is like dating someone who's a 10 out of 10 except when they drink. Same thing. It, it shreds O-rings. It eats O-rings. It's just, there's no point to it. If you ever use this outside in the rain, you know, you've got no protection. It eats O-rings. Now, if you guys are fine with a flashlight that eats O-rings, even after one battery change, there you go. Less than 25 bucks. Yeah, less than $25 or 25 bucks. There you go. I hate it when stuff like this happens because it doesn't need to happen. Seriously, why in the world are the tail cap threads sharp? It's a flashlight. It's not a knife. It... It eats rubber O-rings. But there you go. If you don't care, less than $25, 3D cell, defiant flashlight, comes with batteries. I just honestly can't recommend it because I know that if anyone uses this outside, and it's meant to be used outside, and it rains, and that's your only flashlight, no. No. I can't recommend it. Sorry, guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. This is definitely an avoid. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.